our record from listing an item and selling the item was seven minutes. Remember it was an Xbox 360 game. We uploaded it, basically went and got a drink, came back and we'd already sold the first one. So that was like, wow, if that's how quick you can move something, well, let's keep listing. We're the gamesmen. I'm Chris, this is Daniel. We sell anything from video games, accessories, consoles, collectible figurines, pop culture, products, and anything that fits under that umbrella. The, the Game Den was founded in 1982 by our late father and business partner at the time, selling uh, Game & Watch Donkey Kong consoles in market stores across Sydney. Daniel and I have been involved in the business for the last 20 years, working um, in the retail stores that we had across Sydney. It was 2011 we started our official Gamesman eBay store and since then we've now got thousands and thousands of listings, all automated. 150,000, 99.6% feedback. And I think it's just accelerated our business. I think the most impressive thing eBay for me is the amount of traffic and sales it can do. Our biggest is we sold nearly a thousand items in, in under a minute. And it's, uh, it was for a sale, obviously, and to watch it sell, it like can't keep up. So like a sale finishes and then all the sales start coming through. But it's incredible the amount of traffic and people that can service. There'd be a handful of websites in Australia that can handle that traffic, which is, is highly impressive. It started off with basically Daniel and I doing everything from picking and packing as well as running the store. We'd, we'd cut the receipt out, cut, cut the name off, use yeah. that as the shipping label. And then we would pick, pack, load up the truck, go back to our desk, copy all the tracking numbers and put them into the eBay platform at night and do it all again the next day. And now it's all digital. We're a paperless warehouse. The orders will get pulled into our pick and pack system and it's fully automated. The semi trailers turn up and not the vans. It's come a long way. We listen to feedback. We listen to customers what they like, what they don't like. We've made changes of one review, you know, because we agree and you know, we want to make it a better place. So I think the circle of customers just keep coming back. That's why I think like gamers, um, they never leave. It just keeps growing. It's actually exciting to see when a customer brings in their hall of games and inside a box is their original purchase receipt from 10, 20, 30 years ago. And you open it up and you can see what the product sold for at, at the date and that time. and to see that it's the you know it's made its way back from the wild back to us. I collect video games because it's what we had when we were younger. It's part of the business. I suppose it brings back good memories. And I'd say a good portion of the Australians have owned a video game console in their life. And to see box art and how cool they were back then and cartridges and there's yeah, it all brings back good memories. We've got staff that, you know, 20 plus years, 25 years being with us. Without them buying the right products, the customer service team communicating properly, admin team, finance team, warehouse pick pack team, they make us look really good. I suppose we are pretty close as a family. We work I don't know, eight, 10 hours a day together. We usually talk after work as well. We hang out on the weekends, we holiday together. Any family business, it's, it's dedication, it's hard work. It's long days, weekends, to make sure that we're putting everything we've got into the business. To be able to celebrate 40 years for the games in this year was a massive milestone for us as a family and as a business to continue uh, Dad's legacy um, for many years to come for our children. Hopefully one day they want to jump in and, and, and join the business and take over. Um, that would be great to see.